as we welcome you into Morning Moments with Jesus once again for our morning devotions. And it is my prayer that as you wake this morning that you are able to say, I remained faithful to God yesterday, even through some dark times, even through some temptations or some trials or some tribulations that may have come into my life yesterday. I chose to remain faithful. And so we talk about that this morning as we talk about uh, the choices that we make in life and that we, we can choose which path or which direction we want our day to go. But here's the key. We must choose early before the circumstances begin to pile up, before uh, we are hit or blindsided one way or the other. We must choose a direction a direction towards peace or a direction towards problems. It really is that simple in life. Now, I'm not saying it's easy to do all the time, but I'm saying the process of making the choice early is one that is very simple. In in John chapter 16 verse 33 this morning, I want you to read I want to read you something that the Lord Jesus Christ speaks Uh, to his disciples and his followers after he has really given them a a good discourse on the Holy Spirit, uh, the Holy Spirit being in us and being our guide. He's talked to them very thoroughly about his relationship with the Father and, and, and all of the things that are going to transpire. But he says, listen, in verse 33 of chapter of John 16, he says this, These things have I spoken unto you, that in me you might have peace. In the world you shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Now, two or three things really jump out at me in this verse that I want to bring out this morning because the Holy Spirit is really telling us that we have to make a choice today whether or not we want to be living our life and, and operating our day in Christ or in the world because if we operate in the world that's a choice we make but we got to make sure we understand with that's going to be all the problems and all the heartaches and and all of the the fast pace uh, things that the world throws at us but if we choose to operate our life in Christ Jesus then we operate under the influence of peace he says I spoke these things to you that in me you might have peace. I want us to grasp that this morning, that we're not going to have peace if our mindset is locked into the worldly things. The chaos of work, the chaos of getting the kids to school, and and, and all of the things that that really consume our morning. Sometimes it's hard to really find peace in all of that. But the peace comes in Christ, not in the circumstances. He said, in the world you shall have tribulation. That's a guarantee. But here's the thing God wants us to know this morning. It's not what is going to happen. It's how you're going to respond to what happens. Do y'all get that this morning? Let me say that again. It's not, today it's not based on what is going to happen. But it is how you respond to what is going to happen. See, You're going to try to overcome situations that are transpiring in your life today. God says that's not the formula. The formula is to be in me because I am the one who has overcome the world. So all you got to do is line up inside of me and peace will prevail in your day. So the choice is really yours. Which road will you choose today? Which path will you choose today? Which direction will you choose today? It's your choice, your choice, peace or problems, security in Christ or surrounded by circumstances. It's your choice. But here's the thing, whatever you choose, you need to be ready to live with those choices. So today you make the choice, peace or the problems of the world. Peace is found in Christ. Tribulations found in the world. Make the right choice. I speak a blessing over you today. 
that your life will line up with the peace of God today. You be safe, you be strong, and always be blessed. Take a little time to just take a little time and spend some time with Jesus, the Prince of Peace. Make the right choice. It'll take you further than you ever thought you'd go and lead you away from the tribulations of the world. Lord's will, we'll see you back here again tomorrow. And until then, as always, have a great day.